Welcome back to the morning show as we approach 743 and living green can lead to more green in your wallet. Simple steps we got here could save you cash. Here comes Lessa Gatus as she has this week's Money Saving Mondays going green and saving green. Morning. Morning. Happy doing, Monday. Leslie? Everybody yeah, awake? Right back Ready to go? Yes. All right. So what's better than having extra money and actually feeling good about energy savings too? Make a few changes at home and you can save yourself hundreds of dollars a year. The Union of Concerned Scientists is out with Cooler Smarter, Practical Steps for Low-Carbon Living. The book lists the most effective actions you can take to reduce your carbon emissions and save money, too. We're challenging everybody with this book to try to reduce their carbon emissions by 20% this year. Most people want to do the right thing. Most people love to save money, and, and since a lot of these actions save money, um, you know, they're, they're very willing to do that. USC senior energy analyst Jeff Dayette ran through the top money saving moves with me, starting with installing a programmable thermostat. You can save as much as 15% on your heating and cooling over the course of a year. That adds up to about $180. Be sure to read the instructions and program it correctly. Using smart power strips can bring big savings on your electric bill. It has different types of uh, color coordination that will tell you what to plug in where. So your computer, you plug into the blue outlet. Things like your printer or your, or your wireless router, um, you would plug into the green so that they only turn on when your computer turns on. Keeping your laser printer on when not in use could cost you $130 a year. I think I have a lot of work to do at home. Most people do. <laughs> you can also rent a kilowatt electricity monitor from the library to determine which appliances are using the most energy in your house. Have you changed out your light bulbs yet? New LED light bulbs can give the same light for 15% of the electricity, which will save you more than $100 annually. The beautiful thing about this light bulb is that it lasts, uh, it, it's built to last 15,000 hours, so many, many years longer than a standard incandescent light bulb, so you can sort of put it in and forget about it. Wash your clothes in cold water. Hot water washes use five times the energy and create five times the emissions. The yearly savings here, 100 bucks. The next thing you know, he's going to tell me to stop taking long, hot, fabulous showers, too. Actually, Leslie, you could stop taking long, hot showers, but you don't have to. Um, if you do, you'll save some money and reduce your carbon emissions. I'm not going to stop. Sorry, Jeff. Make your house more airtight. An afternoon of work sealing leaks can save you a couple hundred dollars a year. And if you upgrade your old refrigerator to a newer, more energy-efficient model, it could pay for itself in as little as three years in energy savings alone. And switch to a car with a better fuel economy for big savings. If you were to um, upgrade your, your miles per gallon from 20 miles per gallon to 40 miles per gallon um, with your next car purchase, you could save some uh, $1,200 per year in fuel economy. Over a 15-year life of the car, that could be some $18,000. So remember, there's no place like home when it comes to making changes and saving money. Hundreds of dollars a year. There you go. And Bridget says she just finally changed out all those light bulbs. We did. We'd been like doing it one at a time, and yeah. then we Which is had that. a bulb go out, so we went and we bought all the energy. And you forget, ones. and then you know, because right. it was a big thing a while ago. So just make sure you do that. And those programmable thermostats. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, I don't think that we had actually read the instructions on ours Whoops. and were programming it correctly. So you definitely want to do that because if you have it and you're not using it the correct way, what's the point? You don't go right. over and just go up and down like we do. We just go, oh, it's a little colder, I'm going to hot. You know, oh, when you leave never, the house for the day, be, you, you know, when you go to it. sleep, it yeah. should yeah. be different oh, from when just, you're away. Yeah. yeah. So always obviously, Eric it. didn't read the instructions no. either. No, so I just we're in good company, That's a guy thing. at least. Up and down. Maybe it is a guy thing. And also, reuse and recycle, and that helps too. So there you go, Fantastic. Money Saving Monday. And we'll see you back here for Does It Work Wednesday.